What's up guys? Welcome back to the Esther Effect. I wanted to share with you something recently that happened to me and I kind of want to process it with you and hopefully that this will encourage you in your journey with the Lord. Well, I was in this room with like a lot of spiritual warfare going on and one of my friends had come up to me. We had stepped out of the building for a little bit and they had come up to me and said that they were experiencing a lot of super high, high, high anxiety, like racing heart, like racing thoughts, feeling of basically going through a panic attack. They knew that it wasn't them because there wasn't anything in their life that they should be having a panic attack for. They had the racing thoughts, but it was not, they knew it wasn't them. You know, you kind of have to ask the Lord when you're experiencing something like a pain or a weird thought that you're not used to, or it could be anything. It could be a weird emotion. It could be, and it could be out of the blue and you just feel this where it's not really normal for you. You know that this isn't normal. And so that's what my friend had done. This was something that they dealt with in the past, but it wasn't a regular thing anymore. So they knew that it wasn't them. So we went back into the building and I felt in my spirit that I should tune in to the Holy Spirit and to tune into the room, so to speak, because I said to them before we walked back in, I said, you know, I really didn't feel anything like that, but I felt in my spirit, I need to tune in. And so we went back into the building and immediately, I, you know, was like, Holy Spirit, what's going on? And I felt all of the things that they were saying. I was feeling like my heart was racing. It was like pat, like beating really fast. And it was also like, something's wrong, but I don't know, it's anxiety. And my I wasn't having racing thoughts, but it was like anything could like, it was making me feel uneasy, like a high level of anxiety that I normally don't feel. This isn't normal thing. And so, I just asked the Lord, why is this happening? Is this someone in the room? And immediately I knew it was someone in the room. And so it could have been a lot of outside things, people passing in their car, or if someone gets a call, or if someone gets a text, or if they're on social media. It could have been somebody that somebody knows. It could have been anything. I asked the Lord and he said, yes, it's definitely someone in the room. And so I asked the Lord who it was. He told me who it was. I reached out to that person and it was them. And everything that I was feeling, they were feeling and they had been feeling for some time. Well, that's the grace of the Lord to tell me that, hey, this person is definitely feeling that. And it was interesting because one of my other friends also was feeling that. I was able to tap into who it was and pray for them and a level of it lifted. One thing I want to point out here before I, there's more to the story, but I thought as I was driving home later that night, I felt like it's so interesting because I wasn't tuning in earlier in the day and I wasn't feeling or sensing anything. But it was so interesting that when I decided to be attentive to his spirit and what he cares about, which is his kids, and he doesn't want anything demonic going on in their life or anything demonic oppressing his kids or affecting his kids. So he wanted to tell me what was going on with his children and that it needs to leave because you know we have authority in the spirit realm and so over all the things that are going on that are not from him also i just felt really quickly to share with you we have authority to usher in the things of the spirit which are love peace joy compassion self-control these things we have the authority to usher into a room just like we have the authority to usher out things that are not of him and so anyways the night went on and I felt that the level of anxiety went way down, but the rest of the evening I felt an underlying 
level of anxiety. Still, it was like a low hum, you might say, of anxiety. Later that night, some of my other friends, we were trying to make a decision about what we were gonna do, and um, was I gonna go home and read because I had to prepare for something early the next day, or was I gonna, which I normally do, will go hang out with friends, but then it would end up getting late, but that's fine, that's normally fine. Um, but I last minute had to plan for something early the next day. I instantly felt like this level of pressure to make a decision and there was this lie that it was going to affect them if I, depending on what my decision was, that it was going to affect them. And that's just not the case. They were gonna have fun whether I was there or not. And I was gonna be fine no matter what I did because I'm in the Lord and I was doing it with the Lord. And so then there was, um, we were happened to be by a place where there was an airport and it was just so loud that one of the airplanes was so loud and it was for the entire time we were talking. So I was trying to make this decision and it was heightened because of the anxiety that I was feeling from the other person and I was trying to talk with them, still feeling like my decision was gonna affect theirs. I wanted them to have a good time. I kind of want, just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do, which in the moment I wanted to go read because I was feeling all these emotions. And also I felt that me wanting to go home and read, it's something that I wanted to do if I have a good book, but I felt like that was also being influenced by the other person that the anxiety was coming from. Which is so weird that our decisions can be altered by other people's emotions and what they're feeling. It's so crazy to me. Um, on top of that, um, there was just like, and then after that, alarms went off on our cars and we're, it's just our cars, but it's so interesting, I found out in even in that moment, which we, we kind of already all know this, but I just also found it interesting that the enemy will play on your anxieties and the environment and the things going on where even though I knew that this wasn't my anxiety, that it was a different person's, I could tell that the environment around that person was completely affecting their ability to walk out peacefully the way the Lord has for them. And so I found it interesting that I was seeing from their perspective how hard and how frustrating and how awful it was to be in that situation. And so the Lord was downloading compassion because as soon as I left, 100% everything lifted, as easy as that. And I was like, Lord, this astounds me. And so I knew these things, but there was just this another level of compassion and desire, a heightened desire, so to speak, to tune in to the world around me where there has been a time, I'm gonna be vulnerable, where there were so many things going on. Like when you're tuning in, you get the entire world downloaded and you're feeling everything and it's like you can't function because you're tuning in to the world around you and it makes you feel like you can't do your own life. Like you can't, go do what it is you want to do, like go to the grocery store, go to the phone store, go do like different world tasks or different tasks that you have to do just to live life and to grocery store, whatever. But it makes you feel like you can't do that because as you're going about your grocery store, your meal prep, you're going to the gym, you're going to the beach, you will enter, you will come across things that people are dealing with 
all day long healing they have they're worried they're fearful someone needs healing their grandma needs healing their grandma is dealing with anxiety their sister is dealing with like endless things their dog is arm is broken a bajillion things they're atheist but and then you'll find yourself being stopped all along the way to do the things that the Lord has called you to take authority in. And I have felt that I wanted to not tune in for the sake of just doing life at a normal level and just being able to get things done because I would find myself tuning in all the time. So I would do, I would go to the grocery store and then I would meet someone that I would need to pray for because I knew that they were dealing with suicidal thoughts. So I would go pray for them they would get touched. Then you get a word of knowledge here in the next aisle and then you pray for them and that's another 10, 15 minutes. And then, you know, you can see how if you only have 20 minutes to go to the grocery store, well, you just used over a, a seven eighths to pray for people and what if you have to go get all these things done? So, yes, there's a level of going about navigating your life, your normal life, and navigating the what the Lord has called us to do, which is take authority in the land. The only reason we're here, and if you look in Genesis, I mean, the only reason we're here is to love Him and to be loved by Him, but He gave us another assignment to take authority over all the land and to make it look like the Garden of Eden, which is a metaphor, but like to make the world look like heaven, the earth look like heaven, which is to bring heaven down to earth. And so for so long I've, for, for a time I have turned off those tuning in antennas for the sake of just living life. But I think there's another level of wanting to tune in to the world around you according to what God wants you to do today. What, Lord, I submit my life to you today when you first wake up in the morning. And Lord, how do you want my day to go? I surrender my life to you today. And you lead me however you would lead me in what that looks like today. And I surrender that to you right now. And I don't care if I don't get the things done. I know that you are a good God and you need me to get those things done to live life. So I will trust you that I will get them done when they need to be done. Maybe sometimes I get more things done than others and other days I get less things done than others. And I surrender that to you that the right things will be done when they need to be done. And I just feel very strongly that there is a heightened, and maybe this is a prophetic word instantly, I don't know if I felt like this is a prophetic word. I didn't know it was a prophetic word. He always does that, like surprise prophetic word, surprise prophetic word for you. Okay, but anyways, I feel like it's a prophetic word that there is gonna be a heightened sense, like sense in the spirit, but also we need to be taking, being held accountable to listen and to tune in to the world around us so that we would do what he called us to do. And yes, it feels sometimes inconvenient. I'll admit it. Especially when you have a lot of things to do. But remember why we're here. And I think that's something that I need to remind myself why am I even here? It's to bring the kingdom down and it's to love him and to love those around me. That's the whole point. And so I think that's something that the Lord is teaching me even now and you know recently. And I hope that this encourages you. I feel like there's more that I want to share, but I think even in this debriefing, you could say, with you, 
thank you for doing this with me. The Lord is even showing me that, I feel like this even brought healing to me, even just praying that prayer and the Lord speaking literally through me, like praying this prayer, speaking to you and letting me debrief this. And so he really wants to us to let go of the agenda that we have in our day and to just submit that to him and let him run our day. And I know that it's so tempting to just turn it off because if you turn it off, you don't have to deal with everything else going on around you. But isn't that what is called the body of Christ? I mean, let's be honest. Or the body and so if the finger is having anxiety and can't function well you're not gonna be able to really pick things up because you don't have a finger to pick those things up so we need to help the body of Christ around us and that's actually pretty selfish to not be turned on and I feel like there's a conviction there that in my heart about it's actually pretty selfish to not tune in but the Lord knows that we need to get stuff done. So he's going to make room for that. And we just have to trust him. And I need to trust him with my daily life and trust him that he's going to lead me and he's going to lead you to the right person at the right time. Even if it's 10 people in a day and 10 people get saved, that's why we're here. So I really, really, really hope this encourages you. I know this was a longer video. I love you so much and I'm praying for you, I'm praying for you, and until next time.